Hello guys and welcome back to the next uh, restoration video at Lazilo Collectibles and uh, the next matchbox will be from David's lot is this uh, dumper truck which is number 6 from uh, Lesney um, so I think I will ask David what color combination he wants or he just wants these original yellow colors with a little bit detailing on um, we got 10 wheels here so I will think I will repaint them <coughs> and uh, refurbish them as well and uh, also I might change the color of the dumper and leave the um, cabin yellow but I will ask David if he's got any special requests on this one um, apart from that it should be a pretty straightforward restoration I hope the paint will come off easy um, so let's get started I've got the bits and pieces of the car I've got the um, dumper off and uh, this is number 6b I've got the truck separated and uh, to be honest I don't know if I have to deal, drill these rivets out to take off the cabin because otherwise I think I cannot uh, paint strip inside I don't know I need to look this up I want to be sure that I have to take it off and uh, I've got all the wheels this one doesn't want to come off the um, the axle so I would put this into um, a little bit water hot water but apart from that I've got all the um, bits and pieces of the car got the axles I will um, clean these up because they're very rusty so I think these two are supposed to be the same same length I might actually um, yeah no these are the ones from the back so they are the same length okay so let's get started I'll put these into the paint stripper and we'll see what happens so I'm going to start stripping off the paint uh, from this car uh, which was a lot easier than usual uh, these old Lesney uh, matchboxes are really well painted um, if you remember the newspaper event that took me three days to uh, get rid of the old paint uh, this was a lot easier although I put this back to the paint stripper once more for another half day uh, just to make sure that they come, the paint come, comes off easy and um, after that I, um, I did um, work on the body I did uh, use the brush and uh, I polished it up and use the white primer to cover this one so uh, it will be easier to paint it with the yellow one it also took me a little bit longer to take this car apart because um, I had 10, ten uh, wheels on this one and uh, it was a bit difficult to remove the pin which holds the dumper bit on the on the base but I did manage it and uh, I'm going um, because this car hasn't got anything to hold off um, I had to use a, a toothpick to hold uh, the car which was a bit uh, difficult because it was moving around on that toothpick and uh, sorry about the um, video you can't really see much but um, it was as I said a bit more difficult to paint than usual and uh, you can see there are more paint on my hand than on the car um, but um, this was the best solution I could think of I perhaps could use um, a, a wire to hold it but maybe I'll try that next time and uh, what I'm gonna do next is I do a little bit detail painting um, I've done the grill on the front I used uh, the silver paint and I also done the door handles and uh, just a bit uh, inside the engine bay on the sides but that was a bit uh, uh, difficult to access so I haven't done much really and uh, after I finished the details I used a clear coat to give a good shine uh, for the car and uh, after that that was ready for the assembling which you will see in a minute so 
that's all the detailing I've done on this car so far. So I have finished the lorry, the dumper truck, and uh, I just want to show you guys uh, before I assemble it that um, I did paint it yellow and uh, sprayed it with clear. And uh, on the cabin, I've done a little bit detailing um, the front grille, door handles, and a little bit the engine bay. And um, I've got all the wheels cleaned and repainted and the axles as well so what I need to do now is I need to assemble the car which I have to start with um, this little plastic goes back here and then I need to put the dumper and put the pin in which I'm gonna do in a minute so I have the pin in and uh, this is not gonna be too easy but I try to do my best so I'll be back in a second. So I've got the pin in. Come on. So I've got the pin in there. So it does work. So the next will be the wheels to put in. And again, I forgot to take um, a short video on the turntable before restoration so i just used again a couple of uh, screenshots from uh, the video earlier uh, sorry about that guys and uh, here you can see the car is stored this time on the turntable and uh, i think it looks fantastic um was a bit difficult the assembling because there there is uh, not much space um to work on the pins but uh, i did manage at the end I put all the wheels back and uh, secured them so they're not going to come off. And uh, I hope you guys like the car as much as I do. So guys, the lorry is now finished, this dumper truck. So I put the wheels on and uh, I think it looks pretty good. It does work perfectly. So what I've done is I've done the usual detailings, uh, painting, uh, done the wheels axles and i just put the axles on so this one is done now from david's lot and i hope he will like this one as well i think it looks pretty good so guys if you did like did enjoy this restoration please leave me a thumbs up and comment down below as well and thank you very much all the subscribers new old whoever you are wherever you are that you're watching my videos and uh, enjoying and commenting Cheers guys, uh, take care now, bye bye.